habit of rising early is surely a friend to the soul. If it is the best time for study, it is also the best time for devotion. When prayer and praise are neglected in the morning, they are commonly neglected all day. If you let the world get the start of your soul in the morning, you will seldom overtake it all the day. Morning devotion sweetens every succeeding hour, pours a balm on the conscience, gives a pleasant savor to business, locks the door against wicked thoughts, furnishes matter for pious reflection all the day. It is better to go from prayer to business than from business to prayer. Fellowship with God prepares for fellowship with our fellow creatures and for every event, whether pleasing or painful. James Alexander Life is a beautiful gift from the Lord. How quickly we can busy it up and neglect the deeper, fuller purpose of our existence. In Psalm 90, verse 12, it says, So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The world calls for our attention night and day with its best attractions, distractions, and pleasures. But what good is a life spent for the here and now if we have not known and rested in Christ? O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Psalm 90 verse 14 So make time, dear heart, today for your Maker, remembering that each moment counts for eternity. Almighty God, as I cross the threshold of this day, I commit myself, soul, body, affairs, friends to thy care. Watch over, keep, guide, direct, sanctify, bless me. Incline my heart to thy ways. Mold me wholly into the image of Jesus as a potter forms clay. May my lips be a well-tuned harp to sound thy praise. Let those around see me living by thy spirit, trampling the world underfoot, unconformed to lying vanities, transformed by a renewed mind, clad in the entire armor of God, shining as a never-dimmed light, showing holiness in all my doings. Let no evil this day soil my thoughts, words, hands. May I travel miry paths with a life pure from spot or stain, in needful transactions, let my affection be in heaven, and my love soar upwards in flames of fire, my gaze fixed on unseen things, my eyes open to the emptiness, fragility, mockery of life in its vanities. May I view all things in the mirror of eternity, waiting for the coming of my Lord, listening for the last trumpet call, hastening unto the new heaven and earth. Order this day, all my communications according to thy wisdom and to the gain of mutual good forbid that i should not be profited or made profitable may i speak each word as if my last word and walk each step as my final one if my life should end today let it be my best day